Good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Gallo. I'm the director of the AIFC Academy of Law. We'd like to welcome all of you. Presumably, you are all law students, and thus uh, you have taken an interest in today's session. We won't spend a lot of boring time, we hope, with you today on this presentation. We kind of want to get right to the point. Um, I'm joined today by my colleague, one of our learning and development officers, Abla Khan Albakar. Uh, Abla Khan has really been the project leader behind developing this foundations program for students. So I'm going to kind of frame some things up, give you a little bit of context about the Academy of Law and its strategic objectives, and then we'll get really specific about the topic of today's event and that is the uh, foundations program for students. Uh, this is our uh, third version of it. And, uh, and, and frankly, I believe that we get better each time. We take some feedback uh, from the students and we incorporate that feedback into program improvement. So we think that this one coming up will be, uh, will be better and more valuable than ever. So with that, uh, let's advance the slide, please. Let's talk about the context. What, why are we offering this foundations program and how can this be valuable to you as you continue on your educational journey uh, in, the le in the legal sector? Well, big picture, the uh, Academy of Law was really formed to provide that knowledge-based aspect to legal system development. <clears throat> so at the Academy of Law, we really try to align our vision, our mission, our strategy uh, exactly with the, the government's broader vision for the long-term financial and economic sustainability and growth of the Republic of Kazakhstan. So the vision of the academy is let's develop that legal system as the foundation for economic growth because all of the business and commercial activities that are contemplated at the AIFC, which would be capital markets transactions, corporate finance transactions, raising funds that would then be deployed into major infrastructure development projects, belt and road projects and so forth, well, everything I just mentioned has a legal underpinning because virtually every relationship um, in a commercial setting like this has a commercial contract and legal relationships that really make the entire process uh, real and um, tangible. So our mission then is we're going to focus on preparing lawyers for international commercial law practice by delivering legal education right here in Nur Sultan that has global value. Because we'd like to think that whatever your legal background, whatever your educational background has been from a formal standpoint, we're here to supplement your educational journey to make sure we're addressing maybe gaps in traditional legal education that will truly enable practitioners here to work effectively in this increasingly complex legal ecosystem. What does all that mean? What are we actually gonna do? Well, our strategy is gonna be, is we're gonna to try to create a unique education model that really features the integration of law, business, ethics, and cross-jurisdiction practice. Because we think with business, all of those things really matter and it's incumbent on us and as part of our responsibility to make sure you have the confidence and make sure you have the practice skills and the substantive knowledge that you need to join us in operating effectively. Next slide, please. So operating model. When you think about the academy, think about how a law society or a bar association is structured or even law schools and universities to some extent. And basically we have four pillars. There are four primary functions that we focus on. First one is on the left, education. That's really the core pillar. And our strategic goal there is we need to really drive cross system competencies 
We have civil law, we have common law, we have international law, um, we have e emerging bodies of law, we have new technologies where legal issues are changing by the day. And in that environment, we need to make sure that we're providing cross-system um, competencies development. Publications, any credible academic environment needs to have a research and publishing arm to it. And certainly in the legal sector, it's probably more important or as important than almost any other sector to really memorialize that development of legal knowledge and to drive that development of legal knowledge. Pro bono, you know, the idea is as professionals, we have a, a responsibility to give back to society. And uh, so we run the pro bono program whereby we provide free legal advice to those who need advice, but who may not have the financial means to pay for it. Legal community development, but what's that, what's that all about? The, prof, the legal profession um, is an important body that we need to support the development of. So like a law society or a bar association, we sponsor events, whether they be social events, networking events, developing white papers, policy papers, and so forth, so that this association of legal professionals have a forum for uh, getting together, working on projects, and delivering value to, uh, to the community. So what are our goals? And this is how we get into the discussion of the foundations program. Well, in the pandemic, we were required to accelerate uh, our transition to an online learning platform. Online learning is here to stay. Our model will be that online live sessions like we're having right now, an interactive, they call that a synchronous model because it's, it's, it's live and online. Um, we'll, we will supplement that with traditional social learning in a live classroom setting as soon as the pandemic allows groups and gatherings to take place in a in a safe manner. Uh, and then also there's a third prong to that in the education world and that is pre-recorded webinars. There's some material that lends itself well to having uh, pre-recorded podcasts that then this, the student from a convenience standpoint can participate in. Uh, partner with AIFC bodies. Well, there are, other than the academy, there's the uh, AIFC authority, there's the stock exchange, there's the Astana Financial Services Authority. These are other bodies um, within the AIFC. So um, one of our strategic objectives is to partner with those other bodies, collaborate with them, and become the platform to enable them to deliver legal education to the community in a way that will create awareness of, um, of the, uh, the, the benefits and activities that they're engaged in, as well as provide some practical uh, and substantive legal uh, education to those who, uh, who may benefit by that. Okay, deliver sector-specific foundations courses. So what we decided is that, you know, here at the AISC, we have a common law legal jurisdiction. We're surrounded by civil law uh, countries. And that's really a, you know, Central Asia is really a microcosm of the global legal community because across the globe, you have civil law and common law jurisdictions. Um, and so when you're operating in an environment where in the very same country, uh, headquartered in the very same city, you have a civil law and a common law system. Well, these two systems are not at odds with each other. In fact, we collaborate and to some extent we are intertwined with the, um, with the national uh, legal system. So it's important for newcomers, uh, lawyers, students, and so forth who want to practice here, it's important that we are providing some basic legal education on the foundations of the AIFC legal framework. And we thought, well, you know, our primary stakeholders are not only lawyers, but they're also lawyers of the future, i.e. law students. And that's how we ended up devising this program that's especially designed for students. And the idea is, is that this model that we're developing where you have the best of common law, the best of civil law, you have professional ethics, 
you have um, uh, business substance and practice. And, um, and on top of that, you know, you're in an international environment where some knowledge of history and political science and the humanities matter. So we think that, that this is the path toward building the law school of the future. Next slide, please. So what's our mission for this foundation's program? We want to raise awareness on the structure and the legal system of the AIFC, especially designed to supplement the legal studies of law students, uh, of, of current law students, so that we can help you get prepared for practicing in this international environment, even though you're still in the process of completing your legal studies. We think the time is now to start providing you opportunities for, for this sort of thing. So, well, we've decided to design and deliver uh, a, a series of legal education modules that are designed specifically for students who come, who they themselves come from different educational and, and in some cases, um, uh, cultural backgrounds. And the idea is we wanna make sure that we are on the leading edge that we are positioning ourselves as um, a center of legal education excellence with the idea of training lawyers uh, who will be highly qualified specialists uh, and who can therefore access work opportunities in the AIFC jurisdiction. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn over the program to um, Abla Khan Abakar, uh, uh, our learning and development officer who is spearheading this entire foundation's program. So Abla, Abla Khan, please. Thank you, David. Uh, Jeff, could you please move to the next slide? Yeah, uh, thank you everyone for joining the information session and your interest in the program. So uh, my name is Abla Khan. Uh, I will be the responsible person for the organization of the program. Uh, you can contact me anytime if you will have questions regarding the program. Uh, first of all, I would like to yeah, explain you in detail the format and structure of the program. Uh, so you will have clear understanding of the program and its outcomes. Uh, basically, the program designed specifically for students from different education backgrounds, uh, particularly uh, from uh, legal, uh, and uh, financial or economic backgrounds. So uh, there are two main requirements to apply to the program. Uh, first, uh, students must be currently enrolled in an undergraduate legal studies or in a postgraduate law program or in other related disciplines such as business and management, um, interdisciplinary programs related, related to the business management and law and public administration and so on. Uh, secondly, students uh, must have proficient English language speaking skills and writing skills. These criteria are subject to the verification by the Academy of Law uh, during the interview assessments. Uh, as you can see on the slide, the program consists of five modules covering the key foundational subjects required for students to gain a comprehensive understanding uh, of the AAFC legal system and framework. So um, the program includes the following models, uh, foundations in AIFC legal framework, foundations in AIFC dispute resolution, foundations in AIFC financial services regulation, foundations in the Astana International Exchange, and uh, foundations in Islamic finance. Uh, next slide, please. Um, the program, uh, will be delivered from 13 October through 15 December 2020. Um, each model provides a total of five hours of classroom time delivered as live online lectures uh, by the law firm representatives, AIFC employees and uh, AIFC Academy of Law trained lecturers who are subject matter specialists. Under the program, there is a mandatory pre-reading assignments that must be completed prior to each lecture. In total, the program consists of 100 hours, uh, 25 hours for lectures and 75 hours for pre-work reading and preparation. 
essentially, it is worth mentioning that the program provides for the writing assessment, uh, presentation, or any other writing work for each module of the program. Uh, students will be given the opportunity to assess their knowledge on the specif uh, specified topics based on their learnings and demonstrate their understanding of the program materials. Uh, these assessments are evaluated by the instructors or Academy of Law staff. Importantly, attendance and results of the writing assessments are the basis for awarding the certificates. It is therefore vital uh, for the students uh, to attend their classes and prepare well to pass the writing assessments to get uh, certificates on successful completion of the program. I think uh, we have covered everything on this slide. Uh, could you please uh, move to the next slide? Thank you. So here we have uh, learning outcomes. So let me speak about the learning outcomes and what knowledge you obtain through undergoing this program. Uh, under the foundations in IFC legal framework model, you will understand AIFC structure and the acting law of the AIFC and learn the legal organizational forms of the legal entities in the AIFC. Uh, under the foundations in IFC dispute resolution model, you will learn the court proceedings in the AIFC court and arbitration and mediation procedure at the International Arbitration Center of the AIFC. Uh, within the model uh, foundations in Islamic finance, uh, you will learn the basics of the Islamic finance, main Islamic contract terms, and evaluate the difference between the conventional and Islamic finance products. Foundations in, a, in AIFC financial services regulation model uh, will enable you to evaluate the range of services and its regulation in the AIFC. Uh, learn the authorization and licensing process of the legal entities uh, subject to its nature of services in the AIFC. And finally, studying the foundations in Astana International Exchange model will teach you to evaluate the Astana International Exchange market infrastructure, Astana International Exchange ecosystem, including regulation, infrastructure, and organization, and analyze listing process at uh, exchange. Yes, uh, now uh, I would like to pass the floor to David. Uh, he will speak on what, on what are the next steps and how to apply to the program. Uh, can we move to the next slide, please? Thank you. Thank you, Abla Khan. Okay, what we would suggest is, first of all, for those of you who are on LinkedIn, please go to the Academy of Law LinkedIn page. It's AIFC Academy of Law, you'll find it. Follow us and uh, we'll be publishing regular information, not only about this program, but other programs. Um, you'll be able to um, uh, apply for the program that way. And then also we are uh, putting this up on our website so you can apply that way. Now, the, let's talk about the, uh, the application process. You'll see it's pretty straightforward. There's going to be a portion of the application that says, would you like to uh, apply? Yes. Um, would you like to apply for a scholarship? Yes. Check. Okay. Now, the scholarship program is basically something that um, we have put together and it's still a work in progress. And basically what we have done is we have solicited local and international law firms to make a financial commitment, a modest financial commitment, whereby each firm would sponsor five student seats. So we already have three sponsors who have signed up and we anticipate that there will be more to come. So we would recommend that you go ahead and apply, get your CVs up to date because the process around the, uh, the scholarship awards will be, we'll review your CV and we'll have a personal interview uh, with you online. It won't be long. And it's that combination of two things 
um, that will then uh, give us the information that we need so that the scholarship awards can be made. In the alternative, if, if you don't get a scholarship award, uh, but yet you still want to attend the course, the fee is 27,500 KZT, uh, Kazakhstan Tenge. And for a 25 lecture hour program, um, and in addition to that, there's, there's pre-work and there's a final assessment and so forth, we think the program is pretty good value. We have tried to hold the pricing as low as we could um, uh, to deliver this program to you. But we hope that many of you will be uh, scholarship award recipients. And so stay tuned. So the important thing is to apply and to update your CVs because we'll be asking for that. Next slide, please. Ablakan, would you like to go ahead and discuss the URL and these other uh, possibilities for the application process? Yes, uh, thank you, David. Um, yeah, to register to the program, you can also use the link if you have the brochure of the program. Or you can scan the QR code right this moment. Uh, you can see the QR code on a, on a slide. Also, you can uh, follow us in LinkedIn and apply to the program through the registration link in the social media post about the program. Uh, my colleague Almas uh, just shared the link to the uh, LinkedIn uh, and our YouTube channel uh, in a chat box. Uh, in any case, uh, you can uh, contact me for any informational materials. Uh, you can see my contact details uh, on this slide. Uh, please contact me by any means. Uh, you can uh, call me through the phone or text me a message in a WhatsApp or send me a mail. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, right. Yes, finally, um, I would like to recognize our sponsors. Bergen Mall, GFC, Makuhia LLP, and Abroy Boutique Law Firm for com commitment to the development of the AIFC legal system and without which the scholarships couldn't be provided. We're still trying to solicit sponsorship for student seats from local and international law firms to maximize the number of the scholarships. Uh, yes, now uh, we can have Q&A session uh, if you have questions, please, please write in the chat box. Me and David uh, will try to answer to all of your questions. Uh, if we can um, flash this uh, presentation again, can we <clears throat> flash the slide with a QR code? So uh, the, the students will be able to, yeah, to scan the QR code and register to the program. Thank you, Jeff. Any questions from anyone? You know, we should mention that in speaking with the law firm sponsors, both those who have already committed, as well as those who we are in dialogue with um, uh, as additional sponsors, there may well be opportunities to do short internships or maybe work on some projects for the law firms um, as part of the learning process. So stay tuned because for those law firms who have expressed an interest in taking on some uh, short-term or project-based interns uh, who have been scholarship recipients, there may be opportunities there. So again, during the event itself, as well as post event, we'll provide additional information uh, to, to all of you about those potential opportunities. Does anybody have any questions for any of us? Uh, David, may I please present one of our correct questions? So Alwa Sulimeno, she is asking, should we somehow reimburse the scholarship? Uh, no. Um, th the idea, however, would be we would, if you're a scholarship recipient, we would expect you to attend all the lectures uh, and take 
the assessment and, uh, and earn a certificate of completion um, as sort of your commitment um, to, the, to the program uh, based on the fact that, you know, we selected you and, and maybe that place didn't go to somebody else. So, so we, would, we would expect that to be the case. Does that answer the question? Sure, thank you. No, any questions so far? Ah, one question from Zirya Kajbek. Uh, will this course be open next year as well? Abla Khan, you can handle this one. Um, thank you, Zirya, for your question. Yes, uh, we try to organize and deliver foundations program for students on a regular basis, and we'll try to run, uh, to run it twice next year. Uh, yes, uh, uh, this year, uh, this is the second run of this program. Uh, we, we, ha uh, we have uh, delivered this program in uh, this year in February through, uh, through April. So we'll uh, run it again next year, hopefully. Okay. Um, well, if there are no further questions, that will end our session, but um, please feel free to register, apply for a scholarship, we'll be in touch, and we hope to see you on October 13th in the first session. Uh, please feel free to reach out to any of us, to, to Oblacon, to me. Uh, again, follow us on, on LinkedIn, and we'll have regular updates on uh, sponsors, sponsorships, enrollments, and so forth. So with that, thanks to all of you. And um, we appreciate the opportunity of potentially being an important part of your lifelong education journey. Thanks to everybody and have, have a great day. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.